Hey, what's up everybody? In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a cutout for your mini golf course. Uh, so there might be uh, an instance where you're wanting to create some sort of a character that's going to be on your course. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go out and just find a picture of Homer Simpson. I'm going to say that my mini golf course is Simpson themed. So uh, once I find my image, I'm going to right click on it, do a save image as, and then you're going to be making sure that this is either a JPEG or a bitmap. Okay, anything else, ignore it. If it's a JFIF, definitely ignore it. You're not going to be able to get an image. If it's an HTML, you're not going to be able to get an image. So look for those main sorts of images like JPEGs and bitmaps, um, maybe a PNG file. But that is it. All right, those are the only types of images you can use. So once you find that, go ahead and save that to your computer. Uh, I've already previously saved this as Homer Simpson, so I'm going to go ahead and just cancel out of this. Okay, jumping over into Fusion, here's what this is going to look like. We are first going to start a new design. All right, this is where people screw this up, so make sure you're paying attention. All right, you have to find out what size you want your cutout to be. All right, so in my case, I'm going to say my Homer Simpson is going to be pretty large. It's going to be like five feet. So that means five feet times 12 inches would be 60 inches. So I'm going to first come out and create a sketch on a work plane. I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to be a reference line. Okay, of 60 inches. All right, so there it is, 60 inches tall. That's how big my Homer Simpson is going to be. Okay, <clears throat> I'm now going to go ahead and finish that sketch, and I'm going to come in and insert a canvas. Okay, I can insert from my computer, go out and find my Homer Simpson. I'm going to say open, and I'm going to pick on the face that I want Homer Simpson to be. Top right hand side of this is your diagonal corner. We can grab that, and now we can start scaling Homer to the size that we want. Main block in the center is going to be our move, and we're just going to try getting him somewhat centered okay, on that, and uh, just try to get this scaled just about where that line is. Okay, I might bring it down just a little bit here, and remember, we can once uh, have that, we can go ahead and move. So that's pretty darn close. That's going to be awfully close to five foot. All right, so now we can go ahead and say okay. Okay, so once that is done, Okay, we can go ahead and start our sketch right here on this plane. And now we're going to be using uh, just a standard line first. Now I'm going to come across the bottom underneath his feet, and I'm just going to draw a straight line. We're doing that later because after we extrude that, that's going to be giving us a joint origin since it is a flat surface. Once that is done, we can now use spline. Now with spline, everybody wants to get like every nook and cranny when it comes to characters. Do not do that because it's going to be harder for the next part, which is using decal. So instead, what I'm doing is, is just kind of coming around the outside of this. All right, I'm just avoiding making just a standard board with something that's glued on it. I am going to give it a little bit of a profile. Okay, so I'm almost done with this with spline. And I'm going to come right down here to the end of that line, right click and say OK. All right, so there is my spline. I can now go ahead and finish this. I can look at this in a home view, and now I can go ahead and extrude what that profile is. All right, so obviously this is saying this is going to be 15 inches thick. We don't want it that thick, okay? I'm going to say in my case this is going to be 2 inches. I'm going to go ahead and say OK on this. All right, and that canvas is transparent, okay, showing us kind of where that's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off that canvas. I'm now going to go ahead and create a new sketch on the front of this, okay, and now I can go ahead. Nope, I don't want to do that. Let's jump out of this. Now I'm going to insert a decal. I'm going to insert from my computer. I'm going to find Homer Simpson and say open. Now I can pick on that face. Okay, and now I can start manipulating this and getting this somewhat close. All right. So that's why I was telling you originally, you know, avoid going to every nook and cranny because it's going to be really hard to get that decal to go right on top of it. Um, you know, if you're kind of giving it that little tolerant zone around, it's going to be much easier to put that decal on it. One thing I want to tell you to do once you are done with decal is come over here and uncheck where it says chain faces. All right, the image is no longer going to wrap to the back side of it. I'm going to say OK. OK, and now I can go ahead and turn off that sketch. All right, and there we go. We have Homer Simpson uh, at approximately about five feet tall. OK, at this point, we could then come in, OK, change our physical material. You know, you could put some sort of a plastic on it if you want. I'm going to say mine's made of ABS plastic, so it's going to be white throughout. Looks pretty good, you know, for my course. Okay? And like I said before, since we have a flat edge here at the bottom or a flat face, 
now we're going to have options for joint origins. You would not see that if you were using spline all the way throughout the bottom. It's going to be much more difficult uh, to join that. So there you go. That's how you create a cutout um, with the help of Canvas and Decal uh, in Fusion 360 for your metric golf course project. Good luck.